<laughs> uh, yeah. So I, I really feel like I did this already, but uh, I guess I didn't. So here goes chapter five. So we have chapter five. Chapter five. Be careful what you give your attention to. It could possibly become your reality. Slash, and what I say, these hoes ain't loyal. So, uh, because <laughs> I call I call this chapter this because this is all this chapter really is about. Uh, it goes into detail. He goes into detail about Wayne's involvement with, uh, with many women. But the funny part about, about the whole thing is Wayne has standards. So, um, standards are important. He ain't just out here sleeping with every woman that you think he is. Wayne has very high standards. You see the women he's been with, Lord London, uh, even, even Reg, uh, Regina called his mama, uh, I can't I don't remember. You know, Wayne got like 20 kids, I feel like. So, um, check a look at the women he has these kids with. There's not a lot of hoes and bitches uh, of those. Most of the women uh, that he has kids with or upstanding women will get character. And that speaks to... Um, and this is going to be a little R-rated. Well, not R-rated, but kind of. You know, perennial discussion is devised. Uh... You gotta have uh, standards on your on your thing, you know. Most men just go around sleeping with anybody, sleeping with anybody, thinking that it's cool, you know. I get all these women. Boyce Watkins said, um, and I wish I could quote him, but basically he was like, uh, "Being irresponsible with your penis should not be should not be flaunted." Like when you hear women be like, "Oh, I slept with sixteen dudes," that's not cool. Why is it cool when we say, oh, I slept with 16 women in two hours? Like, I recently heard that, like, Blueface slept with over, like, 2,000 women or something within a certain period of time. That's nasty, man. Like, I, I don't get it. Um, But, so to say that these hoes ain't loyal is true because, oh, excuse me, hoes are what you expect them to be. Not loyal. You know what I mean? They're hoes. Like, uh, and I think uh, that's what he was uh, trying to get across in this chapter. Uh, maybe I'm thinking too much into it, but there are ma major differences. Uh, major differences, and as the man that we know, than what he actually is. So um, this chapter really, really goes into uh, really goes into deep into depths about uh, type of woman he picks. And let me see if I can grab grab something out of here. Oh, he said that even his mama wasn't loyal. <laughs> so take that the way you want to take it. Uh, uh, let me see. Another thing he also wants to get across in this in this in chapter, which is very important, is that uh, he never hits women. Mr. Anthony makes it really clear that he doesn't hate women or touch women, anything like that, from what he's seen. You never know with these celebrities. But um, that's really all I got from the uh, from Chapter 5. I, uh, sometimes I like to give y'all like, my initial reaction, but I read this a couple of days ago. But I have the notes in it, bridge to bring it back all the memories. So um, if I did if I did this book review already and like you saw a video about it, it's my bad. Maybe I'm just having deja vu. But... Um, that's chapter five. Uh, be careful what you give your attention to. It could possibly be your reality. No lawyer women. These hoes ain't lawyer. So that's that's it. Young Mula Basin. <laughs> you thought it was over. I wasn't born last night. I know these names ain't right.